Assalamu alaikum. If you have been following my lessons and the stories that I upload on the channel and you want to learn more and get more resources from my channel, then check out the links in the description box below. Now let's start with our story. The title of our story is Susamish Karga Masalı, The Tale of the Thirsty Karga Crow. So the tale of the thirsty crow. Susa mesh means thirsty. Let's see what is the story and what will we learn from it. Sıcak bir yaz günüydü. It was a hot summer day. So günüydü. It was in the past. It was a hot summer day. Gün means day. Sıcak means hot. Bir yaz a summer. So it was a hot summer day. Karga çok susamıştı. The crow was to means was. The crow was very thirsty. Thirsty. Su bulmak için havalandı. He took off to find water. Su bulmak için havalandı. So havalandı means like he flew. He took off to find bulmak to find water. Evlerin tarlaların ve ağaçların üzerinden uçtu ama su bulamadı. He flew over houses, fields and trees but could not find water. So he flew where? He took off where? Over. Üzerinden means over. Over houses, fields and trees. Uh, uçtu means flew. Ama su bulamadı but couldn't find water. So su means water. Bulmak as it is here. The infinitive form means to find. Bulamadı. Couldn't find. So he wanted. He was searching, searching. But couldn't find. This is represented, uh, represented by the A and MA. MA is the negative. A is can. So together could not. Could not, fi could not find. Su. Again, the translation of the sentence from su till bulamadı. He took off to find water. A flew over houses, fields, and tree, trees, but couldn't find, but couldn't find water. Uzun bir süre sonra bir çiftliğe vardı. After a long time, he arrived at a farm. So uzun bir süre, a long time. Bir süre like a period. Uzun means far, uh, long. So after a while, we can say. Translated sonra means after. So after a while, bir çiftliğe vardı. He arrived to a farm. This is how we can say it. Çiftlik means farm. Nihayet çiftlik teki ağaçlardan birinin altında bir sürahi su gördü. Finally, he saw a jug of water under one of the trees on the farm. So nihayet means finally. And we go to the verb. So, gördü, görmek to see, gördü, uh, it's the past, he saw. So, finally, he saw what? Bir sürahi su. A jug of water, like uh, something where they put water in, like here, let's say. So, finally, nihayet, finally, he saw a jug of water under, where was that thing? Under one, birinin, under one. Of the trees, of the trees uh, in the farm. Okay. Karga sıcak yaz gününde su bula, uh, bulabildiği için çok mutlu oldu. Let's stop over here. The crow was very happy to find water on the hot summer day. Çok, uh, çok mutlu oldu. Was very happy. Why? So he was very happy in uh, for finding, for being able to find. Uh, a, abir means here can or able. So, çok mutlu, the karga, the crew, was very happy for finding water in a hot summer day. So, as we said, this passed before. Hemen kanatlarını çırpıp ağaca doğru süzüldü ve yere indi. Now, meaning of the sentence, it immediately flapped its wings, flew towards the tree, and landed, landed on the ground. So, hemen kanatlarını çırpıp. He immediately flapped his wings. Kanat means wings. Aca do doğru süzüldü. 
he flew towards she do like he flew towards the tree they yere indi and landed on the ground so yer means floor or ground indi means he got down but when translating we just fix the translation a little bit so again the translation of the whole sentence from karga till indi the crow was very happy to be able uh, to find water on a hot summer day he immediately immediately flapped his wings and flew directly towards the tree and landed on the floor on the ground hislaja surahiye doğru gidip surahinin içine baktı he quickly went to the jug and looked into it hislaja means quickly Surahiye doğru gidip, he, from gitmek, and it passed several times in our story. So he immediately, he quickly went directly to the jug. Surahinin içine baktı and looked, baktı, he looked inside the surahi, the jug. Surahide çok az su vardı. There was very little water in the jug. So surahide in the jug. Varde there was çok az su, a, little, a very little water. So there was very little water in the jug. Karga uh, gagasını sürahinin içine soktu ama suya ulaşamadı. He quickly, the crow put its beak into the jug but could not reach the water. So the crow put, soktu means like put inside, like like when you have a very narrow place and you try to put your hand and bring something. This is soak in that very uh, narrow area. So again, the crow put his beak into inside the jug, but he couldn't reach the water. Suya ulashamade couldn't reach. So as we passed, it passed before, bulamade. Ulaşamadı. So, ulaşmak and then this is the infinitive form. A, ma means couldn't. He couldn't reach what the water. Çünkü su seviyesi çok düşüktü. Because the water level was very low. Because the water level was, uh, was, to, was very low. Ve sürahinin ağzı çok dardı. And the mouth of the jug was very narrow. So at the top of the jug, like here in the picture, let's see, it was very narrow. He couldn't reach the water. Ve sürahinin ağzı. Ağız means mouth. Now what do you call this part? I'm not sure. So, and the mouth of the jug, the upper part, was very narrow. Tight. Kar, uh, karganın suya erişmesini engelliyordu. It was preventing the crow from reaching the water. So, engelliyordu was preventing. This is it. Was prevent, preventing the crow from reaching to the water. Or from reaching the water. Let's see what happens. Sürahideki suyu boşaltmak için sürahiyi aşağı itmeye çalıştı. Fakat sürahi çok ağırdı. Now, the first the first thing he tried to is he tried to push the jug down to empty the water but the jug was too heavy so surahi de ki suyu boşaltmak için in order to empty the water in that jug so ki in that jug surahi uh, aşağı itmeye çalıştı he tried to push itmek to push he tried to push the jug down Aşağı means down. Fakat sürahi çok ağırdı. But, fakat means but. Uh, fakat means but, yes, like ama. But the jug was very heavy. Ağır, heavy. And was is the de here. So, again, the meaning of this sentence is he tried to push the jug down to empty the water, but the jug was too heavy. Karga hayal kırıklığına uğradı. The crow was disappointed. So the crow... Uh, the whole meaning hayal kırıklığına uğradı was uh, disappointed. Okay, hayal means dream. Kırık means like broken. Uğradı, past. We don't translate this way, so the crow was disappointed. 
gerçekten çok susamıştı. He was really uh, very thirsty. Gerçekten is really. Çok susamıştı. Very thirst, thirsty. Ve fena halde su içmeye ihtiyacı vardı. And needed water. And needed to drink water badly. He wanted that very much. Fena halde means uh, badly. Hal means situation. Fena means bad. In a bad situation so badly. Su içmeye Drink water ihtiyacı vardı, needed. So he needed to drink water badly. Vaz geçebilir veya su aramak için başka bir çiftliği uçabilirdi ama yapmadı. He could have given up or flown to another farm in search of water. Ama yapmadı, but he didn't. So, where were we? Vaz geçebilir, he could have forgot about it. We can say also he could have given up. Was geçmek means to cancel. Belir, uh, ebil uh, means can. He could have cancelled. We don't say that. He could have gave up. Or veya or su aramak için başka bir çiftliğe uça, uçabilirdi. He could have uh, given up. Or he could have flown. Uça, uh, uçmak to fly. Uçabilir. Could have flown. He could have flown. To another farm in search in search of water. Su aramak için to search for water. Aramak means to search için for su is water. Ama yapmadı but he didn't do. Yapmadı ma is the negative this is the past. Again the, man, the meaning of this sentence is he could have given up or flown to another farm in search of water but he didn't. Bunun yerine etrafına baktı. Instead of that, he looked around him. So, bunun yerine, instead of that, instead of doing, uh, giving up and flying away, uh, what did he do? Etrafına baktı, he looked around, around him. Ve, başka ne yapabilirim? And he said to himself, what can I do? Uh, what else can I do? So, başka means another, ne is what yapabilirim? Can I do from yapmak? Yap is do, abil is can, I, R is the genç zaman, M is I. For the person pronoun I. So başka ne yapabilirim? What else can I do? Diye düşündü. He thought. Çiftlikte bir sürü çakıl taşı olduğunu gördü. Let's stop here. He saw that there were, were a lot of pebbles on the farm. So çift, uh, çiftlikte. In the farm. Bir sürü çakıl taşı. A number or several pebbles. Çakıl taşı like pebbles. Olduğunu gördü. He saw. So again. He saw that there were a lot, bir sürü a lot of pebbles in the farm. Ve aklına harika bir fikir geldi. And he came up with a great idea. Aklına to his mind. Harika means like uh, wow, which is like great. Bir fikir geldi. An idea came. But while translating, we say and came up with a great idea. So again, the sentence from here till here, he saw that there were a lot of pebbles on the farm and came up with a great idea. Bir çakıl taşı aldı. He took a pebble. So almak, to take aldı, he took, he took a pebble. What did he do? Ve sürahinin içine koydu and put it, of course the pebble, and put it inside that jug, inside that thing that has water. Bir çakıl taşı aldı ve sürahinin içine koydu. He picked up a pebble and put it into the jug. Bir çakıl daha. One more. Bir, uh, daha means more. Uh, one more çakıl, which is pebble. Bir çakıl daha. One more pebble. Uh, derken tüm çakıl taşlarını sürahiye doldurdu. Then he filled all the pebbles into the jug. So again, the sentence from here to here. Taşlarını, we know, çakıl taşlarını, it means the pebbles. Sürahiye, in the jug, doldurdu, he filled. Doldurmak, to fill, doldurdu, he filled. So the meaning of this, this sentence is, one more pebble, one more pebble. Then he filled all the pebbles into the jug. Karga, çakıl taşı ekledikçe su seviyesi sürahinin ağzına kadar geldi.
As the crow added pebbles, the water level reached the mouth of the jug. So, as uh, the crow, uh, Carta means the crow. Uh, the crow, yes. Chuckle, tasha, ekle, dikche. Ekle means add. Dikche means like it, pa time is passing. He's doing that throughout the time. This is a verb that, this is a grammar that you will take, or I think we already took that in our channel. So, Karga, chuckle, tasha, ekle, dikche. As the crow was adding uh, pebbles. Şu seviyesi sürahin, sürahinin ağzına, ağzına kadar geldi. What happened? The water level, so su seviyesi, the water level reached the mouth, the mouth of the jug. So here we have su seviyesi, we said water level. Sürahinin ağzına kadar geldi, came till the mouth of the sürahi, the jug. Okay, reach up again till from karga till, uh, till gelde. As the crow added pebbles, the water level reached the mouth of the jug. Karga suyu ichte. The crow drank the water. Ich mek to drink ichte. He drank. He drew. He uh, drank the water. Ve mutlu bir şekilde evine uçtu. And uh, flew happily to his home or we can say and flew to his home happily mutlu bir şekilde in şekilde in uh, there is in in a happy way evine uçtu flew to his house okay when we want to translate the last sentence we can say the crow drank the water and and uh, flew happily to his house now what do we learn from this story what do you think one of the most important lessons that we should learn in our life is Öt, advice, düşüncenin gücü her zorluğu yener. The power of your of thought overcomes every difficulty. Again, the power of thought overcomes every difficulty. Düşüncünün gücü, the power of thought, her zorluğu yener, overcomes every difficulty. Difficulty. What do you think? Is this true? Now the translation of the story. This is it. If you want this file as a PDF to write your own notes and the PDF of the stories that are already in the this channel and the ones that I, I will upload in the future, then click on the link in the description box.